All right, Kayla is not here today, but we are at the storage unit pulling some orders. We got some good sales here. Let's flip the camera around, show you what we got. First sale right here is going to be some Ralph Lauren 3XL performance flannel shirt. Went for $25. Free shipping on this guy came out and said, hey, we'll give you $25 if you do free shipping. We're like, sure. We changed the listing to $25 free shipping. We only paid a couple bucks for this. I only pick up Ralph Lauren stuff if it's like a larger size or the big pony. Finally, the $100 awesome cooler sold got this for only like five bucks at the yard sale if you remember and the reason why it only went for a hundred dollars it was separating from the top to the bottom if you get these where they're not separating they do sell for like 200 bucks this one was separating this part this part was separating as you can actually tell right there a little bit and it still sold for a hundred dollars plus shipping these are those all those dog collars that we got and they actually are selling like slowly maybe one a month we picked them up for two bucks and they're selling for 13 dollars plus shipping a fox mug sold from i think tag was the brand name so for nine dollars plus shipping this little guy is pretty cool we picked this up a long time ago i think last year at a yard sale finally sold for 20 bucks plus shipping this little gasoline nightlight Nightlight alarm clock. So that's actually really cool. Um, I did take apart a Coleman grill. And this was the handle of it. So for $5 plus shipping. The lot of fishing rods. I, I'm actually weighing the profit on this buy. I bought a whole bunch of stuff for 60 bucks, And I've already sold two reels that paid for the whole lot. And these right here, $77 plus shipping on that one. And then, Mark, you bought three frogs from us. Thank you so much. They are heading your way. A pair of vintage 550 jeans. They sold for $12 plus shipping. We've had those things forever. So also, thank you so much for Elizabeth. You did buy a sturdy shirt straw or grass basket tray with leather handles thank you so much for buying that and supporting us and also we had some other sales that were pretty good we sold a vintage sk3h ratchet for 16 dollars. then we sold a microphone for 20 dollars, and then we sold a vintage new old stock greg norman straw hat for 115 dollars. went overseas you wouldn't believe that they were 235 dollars all in on that 511 tech we have 22 orders going out we just want to thank everybody that came out to our whatnot auction my voice is slightly hoarse because of it but um it's always a fun time isn't it mm -hmm. always a fun time we actually really enjoy doing the whatnot auctions we do them every other thursday at 7 p.m we have a link down below in the description but let's go ahead and go over 511 tactical jeans sold for 20 dollars plus shipping 511 is usually a good brand to pick up we sold some klein tool lyman's pliers they always sell for 10 dollars if they're used you know brand new they go for like 60 bucks now which Jeez. is insane we sold a little book little golden book right here six dollars plus shipping we sold a monster truck literally look at the size of this this was a rare grave digger um color it is the chrome hard to find chrome somebody offered me one dollar for this do you do you remember that oh yeah yeah and i was like no they said because of shipping so much money and stuff this is a good looking stuff so if you know that obviously i'm not going to take a dollar for it but if you know if you're getting low, low ball offers but you know it's actually worth more than that just hold the course because eventually it will sell so for full price $46 plus shipping. They spend $56 in shipping. They're all in over a hundred bucks on this monster truck and it doesn't even have a battery pack to it. We sold the Levi pants. This is the brown orange tag 517s. This just came out in one of our videos. Got them for seven bucks at the Goodwill. Sold for $65 plus shipping. They are used. We sold some speakers right here for $10 plus shipping. They're realistic. Minimus 2.5. We sold a golfing club this is going international it is a callaway it didn't need a grip and but it's still going it is a 8.5 which is like a super line drive type of driver so for 20 bucks plus shipping again international sale we sold the shoes that we just picked up that was about a week ago sold them for 28 dollars plus shipping they are peter millar horse bit loafers we sold another golf club this is a adams ideal four right there this is a nice golf club so it's over 36 dollars plus shipping you just picked up some temptation spoons for like 50 cents for all of them they have um like a little flower on it and they're actually stirring spoons for their coffee cups and usually you don't see the spoons just for sale it's usually the coffee cup and the spoon we sold four of the spoons for $15.99 plus shipping and they sold within like 30 minutes of me listing them we sold a harley davidson women's 
cream beige full zip embroidered jacket for $85 plus shipping. That's at the house. We sold a truck right here. We also sold a lot of these on Whatnot last night. These actually seem to be pretty popular because a lot of people were bidding on these. These are, this is a 18 wheeler Crown 1998 racing carrier. So for $8 plus shipping. And we get about the same amount on Whatnot, about eight to 12 bucks depending. We sold a Mario and we sold some, um, memory cards to a PlayStation for $16.50 combined. I just bought the KitchenAid. That was just out on the video also. The, um, the motor didn't work on the KitchenAid, which is totally fine because I sold the bowl, the pusher, and the top of the bowl, and that one had a mini bowl on the inside for $60 plus shipping. If you remember, we only picked it up for six bucks, so 10 times your money in a day. That's not bad. We sold a radio right here, <clears throat> the Midland ready rescue cb radio fifteen dollars plus shipping we sold two franklin library books so i picked these up for 70 cents alice in wonderland and the canterbury tales one sold for uh, 19.99 and the one sold for 12 bucks so always try to pick those up i know they actually sell pretty fast for books we've been selling at least like one a week uh then we sold some tommy bahama we just picked up about two weeks ago they are brand spanking new Festival time white cotton spandex. It's a blend. Thirty-five dollars plus shipping on those. We sold a wrench. I actually, this is a cool wrench. It's called None Better. So None Better wrench, made in the United States. So for nine dollars. Then we also sold a Warrior heel shaft, heel putter. When it's back here, it's called like a heel because it's at the heel of the club. If the shaft comes into here, it's called a center shaft. And uh, this sold for $20 plus shipping. It has a CNC mill. So if you ever see like a putter that has this type of look on the outside where it looks like it's been milled through a, like a whole you know piece of material, it uh, that usually is a good indication just to take a look at it because usually the higher end clubs, and Warrior's not a really high end club. I thought that was going to take longer. So within a couple weeks, so for $20 plus shipping.